Hello, this is Melissa Cole, and you're listening to an Oshawa Museum podcast. This podcast series aims to actively promote awareness and appreciation of our community's history, highlighting remarkable artifacts, documents, photographs, or events from our past. We hope you enjoyed the podcast. Today's podcast was inspired by our latest exhibition, Community Health in the 20th Century, an Oshawa Perspective. The Victorian Order of Nurses has played a vital role in providing health care service to our community here in Oshawa since 1933. Let's take a look at how they got started. In 1897, Canada joined other nations of the British Empire in celebrating Queen Victoria's 60th year as reigning monarch, her Diamond Jubilee. During that year, Victoria encouraged her subjects to mark the occasion by forming organizations to relieve the sufferings of the sick. Through the efforts of one dedicated woman, Canada's first visiting nurse program was established, specifically for that purpose. Lady Aberdeen was the wife of Canada's Governor-General, and was renowned as a tireless campaigner and benefactress of many charities. On her frequent travels throughout Canada, she was disturbed at the number of isolated communities in desperate need of adequate medical care. For want of a doctor, for example, many women were dying needlessly in childbirth. Inspired by her friend Florence Nightingale's Society of Visiting Nurses in England, Lady Aberdeen decided to establish a similar organization here. The result was the Victorian Order of Nurses, named in honor of Queen Victoria. At the time, some serious concerns were raised by the medical community that a society of visiting nurses would undermine both the authority and the careers of physicians. Lady Aberdeen and her enthusiasm had failed to consult with any of the leading medical men of the time before announcing her philanthropic plan. Consequently, rumors spread that these nurses would in fact be unqualified women whose free services would harm both patients and doctors alike. It was only through the endorsement of Dr. Alfred Borchester, a Harvard professor and founder of Boston's Waltham's Training School for Nurses, that the medical community was persuaded to support the VON. In 1914, the town of Whitby opened its first branch of the VON, thanks to the efforts of the Women's Institute and, in particular, to Mrs. John Baird Laidlaw, who was instrumental in its organization. The first nurse was a Miss Presley, who pedaled around town on a bicycle, supplied by the VON, visiting new mothers, the elderly, and the ill. In her first year, she reported making 1,573 visits. The following year, she left Whitby for a soldier's hospital in England to devote her services to the war effort. By that time, however, the VON in Whitby was well established and grew from there. Taking a look at this photo that's dated 1914, and it's from the Whitby archives, it appears that the VON had raised $350 for committee rooms that would have been located in the, at that time, the Ontario Department of Agriculture building that was located on Dundas. Owing to the growing needs of the area, a separate Oshawa branch was established in October of 1933 by the Women's Welfare League. Alex C. Hall was the first president. Oshawa City Council at the time appointed Dr. Rundle to sit on their committee as well. Miss Daisy Lodge was their first nurse, who tended to her rounds in a taxi until a car was purchased for her in 1935. The Oshawa Police Department acted as the answering service. In her first year, she made 3,127 visits. The VON relies on donations through the United Way and partially through the Ontario Health Plan. Any services that are not covered are paid by the patient, but fees can be negotiated and are based on their ability to pay. Nobody is refused treatment because of an inability to pay. The nurses provide in-home care for people recovering from illness, new mothers, the chronically ill, or anybody else, regardless of age, which requires their help. They also have a friendly visitor program, which matches volunteer companions to elderly or ill patients. While volunteers do not provide medical care, they do play a vital role in recovery, providing friendship, conversation, and company. Today, there are 75 programs offered through 52 local sites in the provinces of Ontario and Nova Scotia, staffed by 5,000 healthcare workers and 9,000 volunteers. This image, courtesy of the Burnaby Archives, shows three women modeling VON uniforms. Starting from the left, this uniform is from 1898, the center uniform 
featured is 1925 and the one on the right is from 1940. In 2017, the VON celebrated its 120th year of home nursing and will undoubtedly remain an integral part of the community for years to come. This has been an Oshawa Museum podcast. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other historical video podcast and subscribe to our channel.